Hi everybody. Uh, today is Thursday, March 14th. Um, I can't believe we're almost halfway through May. I can't believe it's been two months since we were dismissed from school. Wow. Weird. Weird times, huh? Um, so this, um, the poem that I'm, I'm, I'm sharing today for the poem of the day is another poem by Sharon Olds. Um, I read her um, diagnosis a while ago. Um, it's, again, it's, hard, it's getting hard to keep track. We're up in the 50s in terms of uh, how many poems we've, we've done. Um, I really love uh, her writing style. It's really, it's really, it's not in your face. It's, it's, it's not even like blunt. It's, it's just, there's, some, there's something super straightforward about her writing that um, I find just simply enchanting and beautiful and devastating. It's devastating, yeah, devastating I think is the word that I'm looking for. Um, and this poem is pretty devastating. Um, but there's, there's this, you know, even though there's this undercurrent and, and the, the, the weight of the poem seems to be coming from this devastating place, um, I, I love where it ends. I, I, love, I love how it gets to the end, of course. Um, but I, 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 love, I love where it ends because there's just something so, the, the images at, at the end are just, you know, they're mythological, they're inspiring, they're, they're, the allusions are, are so, um, so beautifully crafted, I think. Um, and it's a kind of a little bit of a poem about, like the, like choosing whether or not to time travel in a sense. Um, <clears throat> and so I want to put a disclaimer out there that, you know, um, this, this, I, I've shared a couple poems that remind me of my mom and my dad and, and things like that. This is not one of those poems. Um, and I know that, you know, maybe this poem might resonate with some people in terms of a similar experience and, you know, my heart goes out to you if that's the case. Um, but I, I, there's just, oh man, this, this, this poem, it just, it's so, it's so weighty. It's so heavy. Um, and hopefully I can do it. You know, I try to do all the poems justice, but hopefully I can, I can do this one justice too. Um, so this is Sharon Old's poem. It's about her parents, <clears throat> and it's called "I Go Back to May, 1937." <clears throat> Here we go. I see them standing at the formal gates of their colleges. I see my father strolling out under the ochre sandstone arch, the red tiles glinting like bent plates of blood behind his head. I see my mother with a few light books at her hips, standing at the pillar made of tiny bricks with the wrought iron gate still open behind her, its sword tips black in the May air. They are about to graduate. They are about to get married. They are kids. They are dumb. All they know is they are innocent. They would never hurt anybody. I want to go up to them and say, stop. Don't do it. She's the wrong woman, he's the wrong man. You are going to do things you cannot imagine you would ever do. You are going to do bad things to children. You are going to suffer in ways you never heard of. You are going to want to die. I want to go up to them there in the late May sunlight and say it. Her hungry, pretty, blank face turning to me. Her pitiful, beautiful, hit, her pu pitiful, beautiful, untouched body, his arrogant, handsome, blind face turning to me, his pitiful, beautiful, untouched body, but I don't do it. I want to live. I take them up like the male and female paper dolls and bang them together at the hips like chips of flint as if to strike sparks from them. I say, do what you are going to do and I will tell about it. It's, it's really, um, it's like a really, you know, it, it, it evokes Black Mirror, it evokes Back to the Future, it evokes science fiction, it evokes such a, a you know, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful decision, you know, like, no, I don't want to do that because I want to live and I want, you know, I'll tell about it. it it's almost, you know, it's almost Homeric, it's almost... Um, you know, it, it channels the, the odyssey. It, there's, there's 
there's something just so beautiful about about that that decision you know not to cling to life but just to choose to live that is just ah oh, so powerful it's so so very powerful um so yeah that poem um just kind of grabbed me when i was flipping through the volumes that that i have with me um so yeah that's that i go back to may 1937 Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you are well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Wash your hands. Be good to each other. And, um, you know, we'll see you again for a, another edition of the Poem of the Day tomorrow. It'll be Friday. All right, everybody. Take care. And until next time, we'll see you later.